This one needs to be held in hand to be truly appreciated. When I first saw it, it just bounced out at me. Now, on first look, you think we're looking at a smoky quartz. This is, of course, from the Gebobo Sep and surrounds. Perhaps a head of a scepter, not quite a scepter, but thin bias, thicker head crystal. Uh, uh, perfect uh, condition, so lovely condition, amazing crystallization across the faces. I'll just give you a reflection, just to give you an idea. There we go, and then of course this face, look at that. It's almost like a second generation of abstract quartz crystallization, almost into a fenster effect happening there. Going across like that, there's another uh, face similar to the fenster effect. Now we're going to look at color, and I'm going to take it at a slight angle. Of course, there are slight phantoms inside there as well. The purples and the smoke is intermingled. Predominantly smoky, this specimen is. Really can't get the fire, the bling out in this video. Look at that. Quite, quite lovely. Looking from the top down, you can see sh slight shades of the amethyst running through there. Very, very difficult to accurately photograph this guy. It's actually immensely uh, bling bling. So it's it's totally, totally full of the magic of the Khobobosep, the, the almost the nature Swarovski in, in motion. It's slightly overexposed, but just to give you that, that feel that, and of course, best enjoyed when held in hand. Um, uh, Brandberg quarters in general, quite, quite amazing. All the way from the Khabobasep and surrounds Namibia, Brandberg Quartz.